I'm Paul Basser, uh, VP of Product Marketing at Digitalk. Customer value maximisation is not just a vague aspiration, it's a specific approach designed to target particular opportunities to increase the potential value with an existing customer base. So the concept emerged following the banking crisis of 2008-09, essentially to extract as much value as quickly as possible to support the recovery of the finance industry. Fundamentally, customer value maximisation is based on three key elements. The first is comprehensive data. You need to develop a complete picture of current customer value for the products and services you offer. Secondly, sophisticated analytics are needed to pinpoint particular value enhancement opportunities. And finally, you need the means to execute change and to deliver personalised offers and promotions to those very specific target customer segments. So the key point in all of this is that you are not trying to increase value with broad programmes and initiatives run across the entire customer base, but instead to pinpoint the specific opportunities that when added up will maximise the overall value. Well, MVNOs typically operate on a relatively thin margin base, so all operations need to be managed as efficiently as possible. And by targeting very specific value opportunities, effective customer value maximisation gets the greatest overall results for the least cost. So, for example, instead of making offers that apply to the broad customer base with higher costs in terms of delivery and offers accepted, but relatively diluted results in terms of returns, with CVM, very specific offers are made to very precise segments. The result is that costs are reduced and the cumulative benefits are actually greater than those achievable with broad programmes. One approach to CVM is to map a detailed understanding of the customer value against the customer life cycle to determine where value is currently being lost or could be enhanced. The first step here is to develop detailed customer profiles, in particular to measure the revenue returns associated with distinct customer segments in relation to their adoption of the different products and services available. This essentially shows where most of the current value lies. You then want to map these profiles to the stages of the customer lifecycle, from onboarding through engagement and maintenance to retention and upselling. This should identify where which lifecycle phases should be targeted either to reduce revenue loss or to stimulate increased value. And this could be presented, for example, in the form of a heat map that highlights the top revenue opportunities. And the final, in some sense obvious but often hard to achieve, step is to execute effectively, in particular cost effectively. It implies a high degree of automation of the overall process, but in particular the delivery of specific change or customer communications and new offers. There are two sets of tools that an MVNO needs for effective customer value maximisation. Firstly, business intelligence and data analytics, including predictive analytics capabilities. And secondly, automated campaigns management backed by simple product configuration and digital customer engagement. So, firstly, business intelligence provides the means to identify the specific opportunities to increase customer value. It should be possible to identify which products are being used by which segments to generate most revenue. The predictive capabilities based on machine learning technologies are important here so that the MVNO doesn't just use historic patterns but can pick out sub-segments that are likely to change behaviour, e.g. those moving from one spend category to another or even those likely to leave the service. Clearly the results of any CVM initiative will also need to be analysed and carefully uh, determined to identify the real returns obtained. The second set of tools are essential for the reliable and efficient execution of multiple initiatives for customer value maximisation. And these would include simple product configuration to implement changes rapidly, automated campaigns execution and digital engagement channels. These enable the MVNOs to automate customer updates and deliver communications efficiently and at the right time using the most appropriate channels, including the MVNO's own self-care applications. 
So these efficiencies are crucial for the MVNO to manage multiple value maximisation initiatives in parallel, which is ultimately necessary to achieve the overall gains without having to expand operations capacity.